We're on our way into the woods, gonna take the A5, and this is first impressions. Nice. That's not even turbo. Wow. That's not even turbo. Look at that. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> We've been using it for some time now, and undoubtedly, I think it's a great light, and that's why I'm gonna show it to you. Well, hey everybody, yes, it's another flashlight review. Why? Because I like flashlights. But not only do I like flashlights, so don't the others in the group here. So we're gonna do this one a bit differently. This is sent to us by Wow Tech. It's a subsidiary of Throughnight. You all know Throughnight. This is meant to be a budget high-powered LED light. We've been using it for some time now and undoubtedly I think it's a great light and that's why I'm gonna show it to you. So right off I quickly want to get outside in the dark and show you guys what this light does. But first of all let's get over the details that need to be gotten over. What's in the box? So in the box you get the obvious flashlight with battery inside, lanyard which you will want to use, it's a good size light, USB cable, two spare o-rings and a little rubber seal for the USB port of the flashlight. Rechargeable with excellent battery life and also a great scale of power settings. Also in the box comes the paperwork and perimeters of what the light is capable of. I'm going to put this on the screen. I usually don't do that, but you guys may want to pause it. Uh, the 30 lumens will last 46 hours. I use the low lumen settings quite a bit on my flashlights, especially in the house. Now, the big one is for me, 300 lumens will last 10.2 hours. That is exceptional, especially for night hiking and just general use. I'll let the footage speak for itself as you guys watch it. Uh, 1750 lumens is the high and it will ramp down after eight minutes. That's because the light will get so hot it needs to cool down. When we were out, I didn't actually see it ramp down once, which was great. And then obviously the turbo is the big one at 3650 lumens. You get three minutes out of that and again it will ramp down. Now the Firefly mode is 0.3 lumens which will last for 37 days. I guess if you needed that in an emergency, that's great. But it's not enough for me. One lumen is perfect. And then with a double click, you get the strobe of 2100 lumens that lasts 180 minutes. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go right out into the woods. Myself and a couple of the guys took a hike. So here we go. We're being lit right now by Nate's van. But we're on our way into the woods, gonna take the A5, and this is first impressions for these guys. They have not handled the light, seen how bright it is. We're gonna shut that down, hit the trail, see what's out there. Fair warning. Bears? No, there could be people down there working oh. on the night moves. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. I like the weight of it. So this is 300 lumens, and uh, Plenty of comfortable coverage. All right, press and hold that button. Go up to high and see what that looks like. Oh, wow. Uh -oh. <laughs> Which one is it? One. Right there. there we go. Nice. That's not even turbo. Wow. That's not even turbo. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> it really does feel good in the hand. Yeah. Like. Size-wise, weight-wise. Now this light I would not classify as an EDC everyday carry light for a couple of reasons. One, it does not come with a holster nor a clip. That's why I said that the lanyard is something you're going to want to use. It's hefty. Flashlight battery and lanyard weighs in at a solid 7.6 ounces. This is great to stuff in your backpack, a glove box, but I also want to point out that if you yourself do things at night aside from hiking and you just need a safety light. This thing was awesome for filming. So if you take pictures outside at night, you're a YouTuber, uh, this is a great consideration. Look at this, we're looking into the water and that down there, those are frog eggs and those are, that's massive. Bigger than a football. Yeah. And they're everywhere. There's, more, there's a whole bunch of them over here. Wow. Down there. Down there. 
it's only 50 bucks and because it is a floodlight it really lit a wide area and uh, for the most part this time around I didn't have much of an issue keeping the camera in focus so that is our only source of light out here filming on us you can see it's plenty fine you own a lot of flashlights what do you think I like it uh, it has great throw and uh, the flood is really nice because it just you don't have like centered area it just lights up everything yeah as a flood i agree it's very very nice especially for hiking out here yeah feels good in the hand it's a good weight dame your first impression walking down the 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 tree line path the uh the contrast and definition and uh being that it doesn't have that hot spot and it's not real narrow it's very diffuse but high power um, i could see further into the into the woods on my peripheral than normally all right just a couple things i want to point out on the build that bezel plenty of depth there in between the lens that is a good thing and this button that is the same button that's on the through night t1 so if you own that that's great because it's a single action button and it's firm You're not accidentally going to turn that on very easily. It is IPX8 waterproof. You guys don't need to see me submerge it. I know it's going to be fine. But one thing that I really want to do, it's the stress test. It says it's droppable. Oh, well, flight of stairs is suitable. Can't seem to get the right toss. Well, that's good enough for me. I'll never drop this thing that many times, so it passes the toss test. Well, everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, I really enjoy doing these reviews, and I will only choose, pick, and show you guys products that I think are worthy. Believe me, I get my fair share of offers and I just decline. And if I was to accept a product that was sent to me and it was a real stinker, I would actually just send it back and that would be the end of that story. Got some really cool videos coming up, some more product reviews as we roll into the autumn and I'm looking really forward to it. So see y'all soon. Till next time, enjoy your not Thursday. Oh my